Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to do a speed test comparison of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus with the iQ3. So these two devices are flagship category smartphones. So we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus with Exynos 990 Octa-Core processor. This is the Indian variant. So we have Exynos chipset, not the Snapdragon variant. This has 8 gigs of RAM and it runs on Android 10 with. Uh, uh, the One UI 2.0 while we have the iQ3 with uh, Android 10 again with uh, the iQ UI and uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 octa-core processor with 12 gigs of RAM and 5G support. So we have a uh, uh, difference here the uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus is 8 gigs of RAM while uh, the iQ3 is uh, 12 gigs of RAM so it definitely will have an advantage in terms of memory management but then uh, 8 gigabyte RAM is still uh, good enough for any smartphone to have really good memory management. So we have already seen uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus was not really great uh, when compared to the OnePlus 70 with uh, the speed test comparison we did earlier on this channel. So let's get started with the speed test comparison. Uh, so uh, we'll be clearing off all the apps. We'll uh, do the testing for 16 apps. So let's get started. So now we're going to start the speed test comparison. So we have uh, both the devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network and both are uh, in airplane mode right now. And you can also see that both the devices have cleared off all the apps, so nothing is running in the background. So let's start the test with uh, PUBG Mobile right now. So there you go. So you can see that iQ3 has taken the lead with PUBG Mobile and it has already loaded while the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus uh, is a bit uh, slower, almost 3-4 seconds slower than the iQ3. So uh, the Qualcomm 8 865 definitely has an advantage here. Now next is uh, the Temple Run 2 game. Here again iQ3 is faster so that is again faster on the uh, iQ3. Now next is uh, the Play Store. Play Store is again faster on iQ3. Next is uh, the Chrome browser. Again Chrome browser is much faster on the iQ3. Next is uh, the Facebook app. So here almost same time uh, the time it took to load uh, was quite similar but again iQ3 did have an advantage here. Now next is uh, the Twitter app. Again, Twitter was faster on the iQ3. Now, next is Instagram. Again, uh, iQ3 did have an advantage here. Next, let's go to Ghana app. So, again, uh, you can see that uh, Ghana was slightly faster on the iQ3. Now, next is Amazon. Here again, you can see that it was faster on the iQ3. Next is uh, the Flipkart app. Again, iQ3 was faster. File manager, iQ was faster. Settings, again, iQ is faster. Now, YouTube. So, here the S20 Plus was a tad faster. Next is the Gmail application. Again, iQ is faster. Camera, iQ is faster. And finally, the maps. Here again, you can see that iQ is faster. So uh, iQ has definitely taken the lead here with uh, better overall uh, speed in terms of opening of apps. It was really fast uh, because the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 definitely has an advantage uh, over the Exynos 990 chipset. So that's more powerful than the Exynos 990. So that's the uh, speed test. Now let's uh, see how much uh, is the memory management of these two devices. Uh, so we'll open the apps in the reverse order and see which all apps are retained in the memory on both these devices. So let's get started. So we'll uh, go in the reverse order. First, uh, let's uh, see maps. So both are retained. Camera, again, the, they are retained. Gmail, it is retained. Uh, next, uh, let's go to the YouTube. YouTube is retained. Settings both the devices have retained it files again they have retained flipkart is retained next is amazon again uh, it is retained ghana both have retained instagram they have retained twitter again retained facebook uh, it's again retained chrome browser you can see that uh, the samsung galaxy s20 plus has reloaded it now play store again it is retained now we are moving to the games so first is uh, temple run you can see that uh, the samsung galaxy s20 plus has reloaded the temple run 2 game while it is available on um, the iq3 now next uh, is the pubg mobile that's the final game let's see how good it is so iq3 has retained it 
while uh, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus has reloaded it. So you can actually see the difference in terms of the performance here. The Exynos 990 is not a really good competition to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, which is way more powerful in terms of opening of apps. It's really quick. And uh, we have the 120Hz refresh rate running on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, while it's a standard 60Hz refresh rate on the iQOO 3. Now here both have Android 10 and the major difference is the processor, the Exynos 990 versus the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset. So that is Peter. So you can see that iQOO 3 is the clear winner here, both in terms of the speed as well as memory management. iQOO 3 retained all the apps and was faster than the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. So that's it for this video. This is Dumba signing off. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.